a, a child that is hesitant to speak at the start of the year might be able to walk up to the front of the room and formulate 30 seconds of a presentation within a week. It might not be pretty, but that journey from, I don't want to do this, to stepping up in front of their students and just walking up here and turning and speaking for 30, that's really rewarding seeing that because you know they're on the beginning of something that can really be empowering for them. The first year that I coached the team, we had zero students make it to finals. We never earned a ribbon, we never earned a trophy. I, I wasn't sure that anybody would even want to come back the second year. That second year when I figured out here's how we're going to approach it this year, we took third at state. We didn't win a state title for about six years, but we were always second or third. And then finally we, we hit it. And then I kind of told them, I said, it's one thing to get there, it's another thing to defend it. And then there's one that's called county, which is smaller, it's Clark County. But we've won it every year since 95. So 23 consecutive years, I think it is. Watching a student win an award is a great thing, but also you get to see them come back. And now my oldest kids are 30 in their 40s and seeing what they've accomplished. And you think this is part of that whole process is not how great they are at 17 and 18, but as great as they are then, what they become later in life, what kind of people they become. I think if I could write the curriculum, I'd say everybody ought to take a, at least a semester of public speaking. I think it helps with those skills of critical thinking and research and writing and articulating a thought right off the top of your head that is plausible and reasonable and persuasive. And if you can't do that, you find yourself following more than leading or following more than influencing. And that's not to say other classes aren't important, but you can't get around this.